There are times where I wonder to myself why I have the worst luck ever when it comes to this game. Like, I'm I'm pretty positive I'm one of the most unluckiest battlers out there. Now, I'm not complaining, I'm not bitching, I'm just saying this is what I think to myself sometimes. Yes, I know there are some people who possibly get m more hacks than I do, but let's be honest, I'm at least one of the top contenders for getting hacked. And you're gonna see in this battle just how unlucky I really am. Anyways, uh, my opponent had a very defensive team and there really wasn't anything too threatening, so seeing that his rapid spinner was War Turtle, which both my Golurk and Haunter can kind of deal with, I decided to lead off with my Garbodor as he ends up leading off with a Stunfisk. Knowing that he's just going to go for a Stealth Rocks, I decided to get up a layer of Spikes. And then next turn, because I should still be able to take one Earth Power from this uh, Stunfisk, I'm going to be... <laughs> wow. I'm going to be able to get up my second layer of spikes, which is really good, as he ends up getting a special defense drop, and honestly, it doesn't matter. I mean, as you can see, it is a 2 KO. So, expecting him just to go for another Earth Power, or possibly even go for the Discharge, expecting my Haunter switching, I actually decided to bring in my Golurk, seeing as I can freely get up my Stealth Rocks, and even if he wants to bring in War Turtle, um, I can still deal with it, kind of, and I can always go for Dynamic Punch, and hope that he hits himself in Confusion, or get off a heavy hit with the Earthquake and then just bring in Garbodor later on in the game and get up my spikes again. But I'm just gonna stay and get up my rocks as he goes for the Earth Power. I then go for the Earthquake. Unfortunately, I am not max attack. I believe I only have like 200 attack EVs with Adam and Nature, so if I was fully invested into my physical attack, I'm pretty positive I would have been able to take out the Stumpfisk, but hey, it's fine. As he goes for the Toxic, it really doesn't bother my Golurk that much just because I do have Heal Bell on my Milk Tank. As I go for the Dynamic Punch, it ends up living because I thought for some stupid reason that he was going to switch out even though I have two larger spikes up and stealth rocks up. So Stumpfisk upon switching would die. Uh, luckily for me though, he hits himself in confusion, so I guess it isn't too bad and I'm able to take him out with another dynamic punch. As his turn is going to bring in his Glaceon, which is more than likely the heavy hitter on his team and expecting him to be uh, choice specs or choice scarfed and knowing that it does have very good bulk and my goal possibly won't be able to take it out or outspeed it if it is like max speed or something along those lines. I decided just to fight off my Garbodor, but it turns out that he has leftovers, which means he more than likely is going to be max HP with max attack, so I don't have to worry about this thing really outspeeding anything on my team. So I then just bring in Hypno, just go for the Thunder Wave, just to be able to bank on some paralysis, 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 <laughs> you get what I'm trying to say. Um, just to bank on some paralysis, that way I will have an easier time in taking that out. As he goes for the Shadow Ball, it actually doesn't do too much. Unfortunately though, he did get the special defense drop. And honestly, it doesn't matter too much because I mean, I still have Milk Tank. Even though, yes, I am physically defensive, I do still have the Thick Fat. So Ice Beam won't be doing anything to me. And Shadow Ball doesn't affect me. But he makes his own switch out into Cacturn. I guess maybe thinking that he could use my Hypno as a Spike setup fodder. But no, because Milk Tank is actually faster than Jolly Max Speed Cacturn, which is a bit sad. I'm actually going to go for the Body Slam, and I actually do get the Pretty Lucky Paralysis, and then he gets paralyzed same turn, which he more than likely did go for a layer of spikes, but in the long run of the battle, I'm pretty positive that one layer of spikes really doesn't change too much. I mean, you guys can be the judges of the battle, and like leave a comment down below if you thought it changed the battle, or if it would have changed the battle, or if it didn't change the battle, or... You get what I'm trying to say, right? <laughs> um, anyways, he brings in the War Turtle. Obviously, I don't want him to rapid spin away my hazards. And I don't want to bring in Haunter on the off chance that he does go for the Scald. I don't want to get burned. And I know from prior experience, Golur can't take one Scald from War Turtle at the amount of HP that I was at. Luckily, I do. And I'm going to be able to go for the Dynamic Punch. And even if he wants to bring in his Mantike, which he does have on the seam, I should still be able to get off a good amount of damage on that. So I'm really not too worried about it. And I'm going to be able to get off a good amount of damage with the Dynamic Punch as he luckily ends up hitting himself in Confusion. And in the long run of the battle, I'm not too sure how much that Confusion hit really matters because yes, he would have been able to take out my Golurk. Then again, I could have brought in Haunter and Revenge killed it with the Sludge Bomb. So yeah, I don't really know because either way, he wouldn't have been able to rapid spin away my hazards. And on the double down, I'm going to bring in my Dragonair as he ends up bringing in the Vile Plume. So knowing that he more than likely will go for the Sleep Powder, I decided just to go for the uh, Dragon Dance because I am a Rust Talk set and I got this Dragon da uh, Dragonair set from the Canadian Wi-Fi. As I go for the Sleep Talk, I'm actually going to pull the Dragon Dance and at plus 2 speed and plus 2 attack, I should freely be able to sweep through his team. So expecting myself to get the two turn wake, I actually decided to go for the outrage and not the sleep talk. And it's fine because I end up living the second sludge bomb, so I decided to go for the rest and not the sleep talk. And of course, <laughs> I get unlucky enough to get the three turn sleep. So he takes out my Dragonair, which is really, really bad because that was basically my possibly last chance to sweep through his team. Although now I will have to take the longer route and just 
pick his team apart accordingly. So I bring in my Hypno and go for the Thunder Wave, hoping that he will get paralyzed. Even though um, he did get the Poison Hacks in the long run, it, it really doesn't matter because it actually kind of helps me out. Because after I get off a bit of damage on this Vileplume, I should be able to knock it down to a point where I can then just bring in my Haunter and knock it out with the Sludge Bomb. Because even though this is a bulky Vileplume, it's actually more offensive as opposed to defensive. And before anybody says, oh, my opponent's dumb for running an offensive Vileplume, Vileplume, is actually, uh, sorry, the offensive Vileplume Plume is actually a set on Smogon, so that's where he more than likely did get the idea from that from. And it actually isn't too bad because Vileplume Plume does have very good bulk and pretty good special attack, so it really doesn't seem too bad to be run as a tank. But yeah, uh, he ends up taking me out eventually because of the 30% chance that he had to poison me. And unfortunately, I got no bit of damage off on this Vileplume Plume because he didn't get paralyzed once. So hoping that he would get paralyzed or maybe go for the Sleep Powder, I switched into my Haunter. Go for the substitute, but he doesn't get paralyzed, and I'm like, okay, this turn is gonna get paralyzed. And no, it's been like five or six turns, and he hasn't got paralyzed once. So I'm just like, please, Arceus, please, thank you, thank you. He gets paralyzed, and I'm like, yes, I should not be able to take him out with the sludge bomb. But no, uh, he ends up living with a pretty good amount of HP, and then return, he's gonna knock my substitute out. But it's fine because I'm thinking to myself, oh hey, he's gonna get paralyzed, right? So I can be behind a substitute, knock him out, then still be behind a sub on whatever he wants to bring in. But no, he doesn't get paralyzed, and at the amount of HP that I'm at, he is unfortunately, um, sorry, I am unfortunately not gonna be able to make another substitute, so I'm just gonna go straight for the sludge bomb and take it out, and it is kind of stupid for me to rely on hacks, but at that point, it was kind of the only thing that I could do because Vileplume was actually a bigger problem than it should have been. So he's going to bring the Mantai because I go for the Sludge Bomb. I get off a good amount of damage onto it and I'm wondering why he has that over Mantai. And I guess he must be a really big fan of NBZ. But hey, uh, to each own, I suppose. So I'm going to go for a second Body Slam. Luckily, he doesn't go for the rest. I guess maybe thinking I would take him out. And now I will be able to knock him out. And luckily for me, he didn't burn me with both Scald. So I guess I'm getting some kind of luck as he brings in his last, which is Glaceon. At this point, the battle is basically mine. Just because even though, yes, as I mentioned, I am physically defensive, I do still have the Thick Fat ability, which will be cutting Ice Beam's power in half. So he's going to go for it. And he fucking freezes me! Are you kidding me? Really? Really? He's got a 10% chance to freeze me, which was his only hope of winning, and he fr You know what? No. I'm done. Forget it. Okay, I'm calm. And yes, he did end up winning the battle because of that freeze, and this is the cause of why I ask myself, why do I have such bad luck? And in the words of Sour Boss, embrace the hacks, embrace these nuts, nigga. I don't know. I'm dumb being Mr. Nice Guy. I, I hate this game. It, it frustrates me. But it's Pokemon, and one does not simply leave Pokemon. But yeah, I don't know. Like, comment, subscribe. Do what you want. Hopefully y'all got a good laugh out of this. And later.